Hey everybody, this is David with Altered Stage. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, accent heights versus tap heights um, as it relates to the full stroke. Uh, for those that watch the video about the full stroke uh, on our website, um, we'll be picking up right where we left off with that. So I'm actually going to turn on the metronome at quarter note equals 70. We're going to be playing some eighth notes along with that. That's two strokes per beat equally spaced. Uh, kind of follow along. We're starting at, at, uh, at really large heights uh, so we can warm up and stretch out our wrists. So big full bounces, letting the sticks naturally bounce, keeping relaxed but firm fulcrum, the thumb and index connection. Okay. Same strokes, we're just going to change the height. So at this height, I'm still trying to bend the wrist a little bit, using the bounce from the heads. But I'm squeezing a little bit more at the fulcrum, the thumb and the index, just for some added control. All bounce though. So we're getting used to this full range of motion. So we have these larger heights and these smaller heights. We'll need everywhere in between. So uh, we're going to break this up into, let's say, groups of eight to start. So it's going to be an accent height, the, the first note of eight, and the other seven strokes will be a low tap height. So you're going to squeeze a little bit at the fulcrum to stop the stick, kind of put a low ceiling on the stroke, and then continue those nice bounce strokes at a low height. So groups of eight, the first note of every eight strokes is an accent height, big wrist bend, and then put a low ceiling on that stroke for all the tap heights. One, one, two, here we go. Lift. So this is the final product. Pause for a second. Let's talk a little bit about the lift from the low height up to the accent. So imagine that we're here after the, after the long string of taps. We've played this stroke. How do we get from here up to the accent height as smooth as possible? So kind of combining two motions. You're leaving from a tap height and then bouncing up. Um, one of my former instructors talk, talked about this method as the hot stove. When you put your fingers on a hot stove, you immediately, you know, you feel that sensation. You want to get off of it as quickly as possible. So it's almost like the the beads of the stick have a reverse effect for the bounce. So you're lifting with your wrists. You're lifting the beads of the stick up as quickly and smoothly as you can after playing a single stroke. So it's not this, play, then lift, two separate motions. You're kind of lifting as soon as the bounce is delivered. So super slow motion groups of four, accent, tap, 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 accent. Everything's super smooth, all bounce, even the tap leaving into the accents. Last time. So we're combining downstrokes from the accent height, low ceiling, squeezing fulcrums to create the new height of the taps. Squeeze. Up. 
squeeze, and it's just a little bit. Kind of envision what the sticks are going to play, what they're going to play like before you do it. So you're in complete control of the bounce and how the sticks are moving. Let's try those groups of four at quarter and equals 70. One, two, ready, and... Up squeeze, up squeeze. Looking for really clean lines. Similarity in both hands. Evenness of strokes. Groups of three. One, two, groups of three. Back to groups of four. One, two, ready, go. Okay, hardest one yet. Groups of two. It's going to be a very quick switch from accent to tap. One, two, groups of two. Now remember how your hands look, the hands, not the sticks, how your hands look is directly related to how the sticks will look. So if you're really rigid and not really playing into the bounce, it's not going to seem relaxed, it's not going to feel even. Very smooth lift from the tap heights. Let's try all accents. One, two, accents, go. All taps. One, two, taps, go down. Four accents, four taps. One, two, ready, and. on this concept, but uh, you should always uh, start warming up before uh, your, any, any of your practice sessions with kind of developing and identifying these kinds of strokes. Um, it'll uh, translate 100% to anything that you play um, if you're going to have any type of range in your heights. Okay, uh, more to come next time. Check you later.